Our referees tonight are Kurt Walker, Wilson Holland, and Juan Correll. Redlands wins the tip, and we're underway. This is an exhibition game for Redlands. This will not count on their record. The Titans, this is their second game against a non-D1 team. They start with a steal and a layup by Damari Milstead. 15th all-time meeting between Redlands and the Titans. The Titans ahead 9-5. Last time, I'd imagine some of those meetings where Redlands won were before the Titans went full D1 in the mid-70s. We'll get a back-to-back -back turnover on Redlands and give it back to the Titans. So still looking for their first shot. Redlands now going zone press against the Titans first. Inbound, and they force Anasiki to throw a length of the court, and they'll force a steal off it. Well done by Redlands, by Romeo Mace to save it. Their first shot of the game is from out of the corner, and they're pressuring the ball hard in a 2-2-1 zone press. So that'll give the Titans a different look, something they probably, well, you wouldn't see it no matter what division you're playing on. That'll be something interesting to keep an eye on how many times the Titans will get dispossessed of the ball. But the Titans are back here with good numbers. Still two to nothing, the Titans off the steal and bucket by Damari Milstead. Darnay Duckett's first shot off the rim and a loose ball foul gonna be called on Sam Berry. So Trey Maddox will try to beat some of the press with a dribble on the near side. And now across the timeline. And that zone pressure, the trap out of that zone pressure. Darnay Duckett comes away with a steal off a telegraph pass. Titans could be in for one tonight here, at least in the first half, unless their own defense really takes control. Now Redlands has the lead off the first made basket, their first shot made by Neil Owens, a sophomore guard out of Pasadena and prepped up in New Hampshire. Should it be really a surprise, but with finals week, maybe the Titans not a chance to really work in full team scrimmage mode against the scout team press. And so that in itself, could offer some issues. But the Titans get fouled here. E.J. Anasicki going to the line. And the first Redlands, make it the third Redlands foul is on Neil Owens. Sam Berry has two fouls for Redlands. He had the offensive foul, their second possession, and a loose ball foul also at the offensive end. Anasicki, no good on the second, but his first free throw tied the score at three. We're two minutes and change gone by here in the first half at Titan Gym. Shot by Owens is no good. And the Titans clear the board. Redlands retreats off the missed shot, but then they quickly attack in the, in the defensive half court, trying to trap Trey Maddox. But there's also a foul on Redlands. Give it to the Titans. So if you turned on expecting the Titans to run out first few minutes, that's not the case. And I don't think it's going to be the case. This uh, zone pressure of Redlands going to offer some problems, definitely some hesitation by the Titans. They're really pressuring on the outside against the inbound pass. The Titans have to find it out, fire it out all the way almost to midcourt, getting it to Vincent Lee. Trey Maddox down the middle. Redlands pretty active. They almost double teamed it out of the hands of San Antonio, who drives the base over to Anasiki. Back to San Antonio out of the corner for three, and the Titans have the lead back. 6-3. Torrey San Antonio makes the Titans' first three ball of the night. Shot up by Redlands, no good. 
Three minutes gone by. We've had a few whistles. Already four fouls against Redlands. They're coached by Eric Bridgeland. Trey Maddox setting up his own shot. Back irons it. Lee on the offensive board. Going to have a height advantage. Shoots there over Romeo Mays, who goes 6'7 and is a grad student wearing number five. Giving Redlands their best shot at contesting some of those Lee shots. Duck it on the crossover, but San Antonio there with them. Duck it working against the big. Fires a pass. Tough catch by Mays along the baseline. Has it stolen out of his hands by Damari Milstead. Leading the break against the numbers, and a sickie gets by everyone and scores. And the Titans have scored six straight. Overcoming the 3-2 deficit, now leading 8-3. Two-point shot put up and missed by Robert Power, a sophomore guard out of the Palisades and Crespi High School. Next whistle will take us to a timeout here in Titan Gym. Almost four and a half gone by. Anasiki working on Mays, turning into the lane, and Mays walked underneath him. That'll take us to the first timeout. E.J. Anasiki, Tennessee transfer, sinking the second as well. Three out of four now for Anasiki from the line, and the Titans have their biggest lead, 9-3. The drive there by Justice Marmara, and the Titans double teamed and stole it. Milstead the other way and gets a second transition bucket. 11-3, now the Titans are out a little bit. And they've turned up the defensive pressure. As Ducky gets inside but can't convert against the Titan Bigs, Lee pulling down the board. San Antonio works at front court for the Titans. On the two-man game, the bounce for Lee, stolen by Robert Power. Power leads it the other way to Marmara. A long three-pointer put up by Duckett, pretty off the mark. Milstead running down the rebound, leading it three on two the other way. An extra pass to Anasiki from Trey Maddox. And the Titans have scored 11 straight. Even with the three bites, San Antonio ruled a two, because otherwise that'd be 12, until Robert Power hits a nice shot at the foul line and stops the Titans' 11-0 run. Redlands not worrying about the big so much outside. And a sicky inside, a quick flash across the lane. And then works quick off that move, off the bounce in from Lee. Getting more free throws, EJ and a who, who go very tall. Colin McCarthy out there, six feet three. Ben Peterson out there, six foot three. Romeo Mays, six foot seven. Really the only guy that matches up height wise with Vincent Lee or EJ Anasiki. Anasiki making five out of six free throws here in the first six minutes. Has nine points already, and the Titans are out by 10. So it's, a, it's ballooned rather quickly. Since the Titans had a few struggling possessions early, power missing on the lefty layup, and it's out of bounds to Redlands. Robert Power bringing it inbounds for Redlands. And he can't find anybody except the left hand of Vincent Lee. Another steal for the Titans. And is Siki leading the break. Dante Maddox in there, cross court to San Antonio. Into Lee. McCarthy guarding him. Lee gonna set up that jump hook with the right hand and converts. And we're four timeouts apiece in this level of college basketball. And three can be carried over to the second half. Good hard dribble up the floor and Redlands able to draw a foul on the Titans. Redlands five points are on the floor right now. 
coming from Owens, who hit a three early, and Robert Power, who hit a nice two. Vincent Lee rejects and he race Power's shot inside. Jalen Harris coming back the other way. Over to Dante Maddox, who drives in, finds an open man in the corner, San Antonio, respots for two. Rebound comes off to Marmara. Good pass ahead to Kair Jackson. The trailer is the big, and Mays puts it up and in. Off the glass. Titans working up the middle against the zone trap. Jalen Harris to Vincent Lee. And that's an easy two for the Titans once they broke the press. Getting it one more inside to Lee. Quick shot by Redlands in and out from Jackson. Pulled down by Milstead. And a foul in the backcourt drawn by Milstead against Justice Marmara, who's a 6'5 sophomore out of Arlington, prepped in Arizona. Darnay Duckett on the bench after the last stoppage now back in. For the Titans, Leilu Laku from Dallas, a Texas A&M Corpus Christi transfer, six foot ten on the floor. Gives the Titans a block, even some more shots. As Vincent Lee sits down. Also in the game for the Titans, 22, Grayson Carper, a junior college transfer from Columbia in Northern California, hometown of Fresno. The drive inside by Owens. Nice stop and pop for two. Again, a bucket by Redlands cuts it to 10. Coming down on 12 minutes to go here in the first half in Titan Gym. A one-hand pass inside for Laku. Stopped at the cup, but with a foul from Kyer Jackson from behind. And Leto Laku going to the line for the Titans. One thing the Titans isn't is shoot from the line. They're 77 percent. Titan opponents are less than 70. That's a nice little advantage to have. Diedrich Taylor said this week that he'd like to see the Titans get to the line more. That it's one of the strong points of the program under his leadership to get to the foul line because the Titans are a team that likes to play downhill and get inside. Laku making the free throws, putting it up to 21 to nine in favor of the Titans. Next whistle will take us to a timeout. The righty layup by Kyer Jackson, tapped up by Mays, pulled down by Marmara. And Redlands has another look with a reset up to 20. The drive by Jackson over to Duckett. Long three by Duckett. Long hasn't really hit a shot yet. Darnay Duckett, their leading scorer, has one foul and no points. Trey Maddox doesn't line up the three, drives it inside and loses it. Might have had a hand in there from Jackson, pulled away by Mays. Duckett bumping into Dante Maddox, no call. Either way, here comes Marmara inside to Mays. Cat, nope, no basket. It's going to be in just under two weeks, Thursday the 30th at CSU Bakersfield. Titans defending out of the timeout. Redlands up to eight team fouls, eight fouls on Redlands as Duckett will do what good scorers do and get inside, draw a foul, and maybe pick up some shooting touch at the foul line. Dante Maddox. Duckett from St. Joseph Notre Dame High School in Alameda, hometown of Oakland. Also played at Whitman College, a D3 school. Latest Redland sub is Tyson Legner from Phoenix, a sophomore guard wearing number 12. Duck it pure on both foul shots. That gives him his first two points of the night. And the Titans get to look at the 2-2-1. Two, two, Three-quarter court pressure. Good hands inside by Mays. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Baseline official said Mays kicked the ball. 
They're going to give it the ball to Redlands on the inadvertent whistle. They did secure possession. Might have had a chance to run out the other way. And uh, Eric Bridgeland, their head coach, just his second season, wonders what could have been if they had broken out and play had not been stopped. So, just a mistake. Whistle happens all the time, unfortunately. 21 to 11, Titans lead has kind of hovered there around 10 points. Moving screen on Mays. Romeo Mays, 6'7", grad student out of Vallejo. Titan fans might know that as the hometown of Titan legend Augie Garrido. Baseball coach here that won three of the four Titan National Championships at the College World Series in baseball. Crossover move by Maddox. Doesn't really go anywhere with it and then picked up his dribble. Over to Milstead. Milstead has a lane to the cup. And Laku maybe throwing in a screen there. And it was wide open. Damari Milstead pushes the Titans out to a 12-point advantage. The drive and a hang by Jackson gets a friendly bounce for two. Jackson's first two. Halfway through the first half, it's a 10-point Titan lead. Dante Maddox on a three, can't convert. Marmara bringing it back the other way. Reach in by Maddox. Carper has it. Hit ahead to Trey. Left hand's a pass over to Milstead for three out of the corner. No good. Carper's there. Should be two. No, he can't, it came out on him. Titans get it anyway and swing it around. Now into Laku. And Laku can't convert. Too many little guys around the 6'10 guy's shot attempt. May spotting up 4-3. That's over the top and nothing but air. Maddox leading the break. Side steps on Marmara. Can't convert on a floater. Duck it back the other way against the numbers, but beats Carper, then misses the layup. Duck it has it back. Out to Marmara. Over to Jackson. 4-3. Long three. No good. Redlands has not come out, hitting many shots from outside. I think they hit the one early, and that's it. Carper going down, uses the window, and the Titans lead by 12. Shot from Legner, a three, and some of these shots by Redlands, not all that close. Last week, Life Pacific shot a pretty outstanding percentage. They beat the Titans on the three ball last week. Had pretty good uh, activity back and forth, so now guys need a break. We set the Titan lineup, Anasiki, Vincent Lee, Milstead, Trey Maddox, and Torrey San Antonio. I believe that was a starting five. Redlands has a couple of players back and one new player out there, Nathan Anderson, a 6'6 forward from Los Angeles. He has the long hair and is working inside for this Redlands five. Five on the shot clock for the Bulldogs. Can they get it to somebody for a shot? It's Josh Himmel. Out of Jacksonville, making the shot against the clock. Josh Himmel, a 6'5 sophomore guard out of Jacksonville. Times are back now at a 10 point lead. Eight minutes in front of halftime. Inside Vincent Lee, and he's denied by Anderson, but a foul that'll take us to the next timeout under eight minutes. Titans 25, Redlands Bulldogs 15. You're watching Big West Basketball on ESPN Plus. Two, one. Titans with a solid lead at halftime. There's something going down at the other end of the floor in front of the Titan bench. I'm not sure what happened, but they're uh, waiting for the athletic trainer to come out and wipe something up. Probably that means it's blood. Can we see that? Nathan's 
So Lee's at the line. The foul was on Anderson. Redlands is over, over the penalty and over the double penalty. Titans are only at three team fouls right now. And Vincent Lee adds another and has three points. 27-15 in favor of the Titans. Shot is up by Power, and he hits. So Redlands hitting a couple of shots. Their last two possessions, him will hit a two uh, against the clock, and Power hits a shot, their first possession out of the timeout. And they've climbed into single digits down by nine. Millsett on the baseline, and Anderson has him deed up there. So out to uh, Anasiki it goes, 15 to shoot for the Titans. Milstead working it towards the middle over to Trey Maddox lining up a three. Front iron, no. Tap by Anasiki and power on the baseline. And I don't think there's going to be a foul there. I think just out of bounds on Vincent Lee. Redlands now led by power who has five. A two and a three. And Neil Owens has a two and a three. Anasiki with free throws, made five out of six. He's up to nine points. A couple of buckets and five free throws. Himmel tapped on the three-point shot by Trey Maddox, and he's going to shoot three. The hand up right underneath the shooter's wrist. The Titans, in addition to being five and five, they would try to be winning two games in a row for the first time this month, first time in a month. They beat George Washington and won at San Diego back-to-back -back games in the middle of November, but uh, have traded wins and losses since. Himmel. Himmel makes all three shots for Redlands there. And has five points. There's a trio of Redlands players all out on the floor with five points. Totally 15 out of their 21. Anasiki staying with it to score. He's over double, di over double figures here in the first half. But the Titans don't get back against Robert Power, who saw an opening and took it. And now leads Redlands with seven points. So they haven't got a lot from Duckett, but they do have guys coming in off the bench picking up some of the score and as Lee misses a reverse for the Titans. Six and change in front of halftime. Six point lead for the Titans and power. He was looking to cut into it right there with a three but missed it. That would have been a pretty big three for Redlands. Now we'll see the what the Titans can do at this end. Mill said nothing off the screen. Throws it inside late to Anasiki. Shot no good, but Lee is there. Out of his hand. Titans ball out of bounds, but he said Redlands ball out of bounds. And again, they have a, a chance to cut into the six point deficit. Duck it. San Antonio's gonna get up, get up on him. Stay with him all the way in the lane. Contest the fadeaway two, but Duck it hits it. Had to stay composed all the way, even after he picked up his dribble. Darnay Duckett's first bucket, he has four points. Redlands traps Anasiki, but he gets it to Trey Maddox. Maybe some opening down the middle. He kicks it over to Dante Maddox, not related. Three-point shot, no good, but Lee rebounds. Five minutes in front of halftime. Defense! 
Stein's going to have to cross court it or set something up going back up top. Now it's Anasiki up top taking it, kicking it to San Antonio. A three to beat the clock. Keeps the possession alive for the Titans because it came off the rim to Lee. Anasiki for two, pretty off the mark. Lee inside, just muscles it in. He ended up being trying to be blocked out by Darnay Duckett. And uh, that wasn't going to work in Redland's favor. Lee has eight points for the Titans. This three no good by Redland. Six point Titan lead. Dante Maddox going to finish on his own and, in, and draws a foul. Jackson coming off the opposite side to contest Dante Maddox at the basket. If Jackson had a hold of Dante's arm as they came down, which would have made his fall kind of awkward. Couple of free throws for the Titans here. Anasiki leading the Titans with 11. Vincent Lee has eight. Dante Maddox looking for his first points, but no good on the free throw. Give you an update on some of the stats. Titans shooting 42%, Redlands 35%, and Redlands also a, a very low percentage from downtown, two out of 12. Maddox got one. Titans haven't made a three point shot yet, but they're making the effort to go inside, although it seems like they put up more than four attempts from outside because they've had enough drives and kicks. Kair Jackson with a two for Redlands, cuts it down to five. Jackson has four points to the midcourt line to Trey Maddox to San Antonio. Dante Maddox down the middle. Trey Maddox open on the wing along three. And the three-point shot is long. Down the floor, and what? That's a, that's a guy that played some football, Trey Maddox, coming back. Almost like a Deion Sanders recovery. And they're Division III NCAA, and they play in the SIAC. Trey Maddox. Those are his first two points of the night. The Titan leading scorer from a year ago, and he had plenty of big nights. But uh, EJ, EJ Anasicki doing a bulk of the scoring for the Titans so far this season. Trey hasn't really found his shot yet, but there's, there's still plenty of time. And you have somebody like Anasicki working inside. At some point, some of those outside opportunities are gonna come in and uh, they'll be converted by pretty much everybody. Torrey San Antonio on the foul, his first, fifth foul on the Titans in this half. So still one more to give. Hard to see where the foul was there. Duckett has it. Duckett gonna create his own shot. Have it blocked by San Antonio. And Anasiki on the rebound. San Antonio, a little bit of a height advantage there on Duckett and Duckett didn't create his shot well enough. Maddox turning to the baseline, giving it to Anasiki for two. Anderson trying to block out Anasiki and does just enough. Redlands back the other way down seven. Duck it inside, that's gonna be a charge. It's a charge. Drawn by Jalen Harris. Diedrich Taylor had maybe a tough time putting a, a, a term on Jalen Harris about what he means to the Titans, but he didn't want to call him a surprise. But, but kind of said that he was a player that's, that's improved for the Titans just through work, but he wouldn't call him a surprise because he sees Jalen Harris putting in the work every day. Two forty-five to the half. Trey dancing with Owens and knocking down a long two. There's a shot that he hits from outside. Is that's not downtown, but it's two points. Sometimes you got to hit some of those mid-range to long twos just to get that stroke going. He made a couple of foul shots, and now he's essentially hit three consecutive shots, counting the two free throws. Out of bounds to the Titans it goes. Let me check you the turnover numbers. Turnovers are 10, five. 
10 Redlands turnovers. Now six turnovers by the Titans. Kair Jackson is down the floor. UC Santa Barbara. And they won the Big West last year going to the NCAAs. UC Irvine had been in the previous time. We didn't have a Big West Conference tournament in 2020. That was the week everything changed. Eight point Titan lead after the free throw there by Kyer Jackson. Good crossover by Trey, but he's not gonna take it across the timeline. Titans get it across with about a second and a half to spare. Inside to Vincent Jackson from behind, blocked and fouled by Nathan Anderson. Titans doing a good, making a good living at the foul line in the first half, 12 out of 15. 12 field goals and 12 free throw makes. Adds up to their total of 36 points in the first half. Vincent Lee misses on both, but San Antonio catches the long rebound. Titans will get a look here. Inside the paint, Dante Maddox. Kind of a crafty little shot. Wasn't really a fadeaway, wasn't exactly a floater, kind of somewhere in between. Titans going zone here. Power on the fadeaway, but had to put it up over Lee. Good back tap, keeps it alive for Redlands. Duckett working inside, finding power open for three. Yes. Redlands now three out of 13 from downtown. They break 30 in the first half, about 70 seconds before the end of the first half. 38-31, the Titans. Titans might be able to get a two for one here. Vincent Lee for the Titans, and the Titans get it to 40 here in the first half. Redlands might, they have a chance to get the two for one in their favor as Kyrie Jackson hits in the lane. The Titans will be hard pressed to get a true two for one here. Vincent Lee, here comes a double from Duckett. Lee didn't see him, Lee looking for some help verbally on the communication. Trey Maddox bumping Duckett out of bounds and the Titans now are out of fouls. So it's free throws for Duckett. The three point shot by Robert Power, possession to go. past Maddox and try to go around him and Trey slid over and created the contact. No good for Duckett on the front end. Now the Titans have a chance to hold for one inside of 20 seconds in the first half. Ten seconds, Trey Maddox might be his to create the shot for himself or somebody else, it's gonna be him. 4-3, no good. San Antonio and Duckett, and Duckett falls with a rebound. It's a seven point Titan lead. Titan 12 out of 17 from the line. Redlands was six out of eight. Points in the paint was 22-16 Titans. That's added to by Vincent Lee. Vincent Lee, who now has 12 points. He had 10 at the half. 10 points and seven rebounds. Already very close to a double-double at the half. And the first two here in this half. Lee contesting that shot, might have got a piece. Let's see, no he didn't. Oh, we're gonna get a loose ball foul. It's gonna stay at this direction. So it doesn't matter what Lee did contesting that shot from Owens because it's gonna be out of bounds to Redlands. Trey Maddox picks up his third personal foul on the first defensive possession. So Duckett brings it in. Duckett 
Out to Kyer Jackson driving in. Lee got a piece, but a strip. Make that Anasiki, I think, inside on the strip foul. Kyer Jackson, a five point a game score on the season for Redlands. First shot is good. Put up seven shots in the first half. Scored the ball three times, none from downtown. First free throw gave him eight. Second free throw gives him nine points in the game. Kyer Jackson, 15 minutes played in the first half. What is always very tough for the teams that step up a level or two is, is the endurance, the legs that you have to have. And, and certainly the guys that play at Redlands are in great shape, but then you go up another level or two, Vincent Lee gets inside. How long can they keep the, up the effectiveness of the, of the press before the Titans just start to wear them down a little bit in the leg department? So Vincent Lee inside for a couple of dunks and the Titans lead by nine. Jackson inside, a turning shot against Maddox, way off the mark, rebounded by San Antonio. San Antonio had it knocked out of his hands, but it'll stay with the Titans. Both teams had six steals in the first half, so that was pretty good activity at both ends. Something that the coaches uh, would love to have every half if they could get six steals. For the Titans, it was six steals off 10 Redlands turnovers. And for Redlands, six steals forcing seven Titan turnovers. 15 to shoot it for the Titans. San Antonio in low to Anasiki, guarded by Jackson. Jackson trying to wrap up Anasiki. Caught for the foul. Third foul on Kair Jackson. Romeo Mays, their lone big out there, has has three fouls. Milstead bringing the ball in for the Titans. Milstead needing a timeout at their offensive end. One other Big West team in action tonight, Cal Poly, Fresno State. Get an update on the score in a second as Trey Maddox is stripped and the ball is off him, out of bounds to Redlands. Diedrich asking for a second opinion, but not from the... Opposite side official with the Titans are going to get the ball back anyway. Just on defensive pressure in the backcourt. As uh, Duckett and a Berry couldn't sync up on that pass. Cal Poly 3 and 7 on the year. Trailing Fresno State early in the second half. Just a few minutes beyond where we are in our game, 18 minutes ago. They're about 16 and a half minutes ago. And Fresno State leads by 18. 54-36. Three to shoot for the Titans. It's Lee against the clock and inside to score it. Titans lead by 11. Vincent Lee having a pretty good night. You'd expect that. Titans starting two bigs. Redlands really just one true big. And a sickie. And Duckett going to draw the foul. A late whistle against the Titans. Oh, maybe it's good. Maybe it's the other way. Darnay Ducky with a foul, his third. So it stays with the Titans, but Ducky with the reach in trying to prevent the steal, prevents the fast break. And then Brisland, Brisland just finding out what I found out, what it took me a couple of seconds to find out, that yes, the foul was not against the Titans, it was against Redlands. He said, who on us? So Redlands kind of hanging around, kind of sneakily, kind of hanging around. It, it doesn't really feel like it's all that close, but it's certainly not a 20 or 30 point margin on the scoreboard either. Kyer Jackson getting inside. There's no call for any kind of trip up. Owens with a three, San Antonio the rebound, a Barry with a foul. So that's gonna give it to the Titans and Redlands now at three fouls. First half, they got up to eight fouls, maybe in the first half of the first half. Titans by 11. Oh, 
And Nasicki working it on Jackson. And Mays was over to kind of threaten with some help, and that left Vincent Lee. And Anasiki playing with head up, eyes open, finds him. For another inside hoop for Lee, who has four buckets already. And we haven't hit the first media timeout in the second half. Vincent Lee has 18 points. Duckett, Titans have eyes on him. Duckett, a fadeaway two, and he's going to get a friendly bounce at the East goal. Darnay Duckett, not a lot of buckets. That's his second. He has six points. Titans send two back to the ball. That frees up San Antonio on the outside. Now he continues it. Give and go with Lee for the bucket. Vincent Lee to Torrey San Antonio, and the Titans hit 50. Titans leading by a Baker's dozen. Torrey San Antonio. A little careless with the basketball. Anasiki going to get uh, a little help as it was knocked out of bounds by Marmara. Milstead bringing the ball back in. Titans plenty of time to shoot, 10 on the clock. Milstead makes his move to the baseline. Over to Trey Maddox. Dante Maddox lining it up for three. No good, Titans still haven't made one from outside tonight. Titans at the half had seven offensive rebounds to Redlands three. Going to check those numbers here in the second half as uh, Redlands has their fourth team foul. Offensive rebounds are up to 8-4 in favor of the Titans. on the lefty layup and one as Redlands tries to hit 40 here. Leading scorer for Redlands, leading scorer is Robert Power, the sophomore guard out of the Palisades, 13 points. Amari Milstead inside. Milstead up to eight points. The South Florida transfer for the Titans. That's a settle shot there from Justice Marmara. Now the Titans are on the break, two on two. Milstead, floater, good. Milstead. 10 points for Damari Milstead. The third on the floor for the Titans, double figures. Lee's 18 and Anasiki's 12. Are the other two. Power on the right side. I think Russell Westbrook would have gone glass with that one. Russell likes that pull up off the screen from the angle. Another shot that time from Ben Peterson, no good. Titans lead by 15. Largest lead in the first half for the Titans was 12. So now this is the largest lead in the game. Nathan Anderson just struggling to find his feet. And Asiki saves the ball back in. Titans don't have numbers, but it's Trey Maddox. 
Quickly, and he's back in. Owens, no good off the glass. Titans miss, power comes back the other way. He has a good extra pass from Anderson to Kyrie Jackson. 11 points for Jackson. Redland's gonna get another look. Turn it over to the Titans inside of 13 minutes left. going to put the Titans in the penalty right there. Tides will be shooting free throws the rest of the night. San Antonio misses on the front end. Nice move inside by Marmara. No fouls, is out of bounds. Ladu Leku. Almost close to our first jump ball of the night, but the foul is going to be on Colin McCarthy. Leku splits the pair. And the Titans by 17. Matching the largest lead. Gonna get a foul there on Anisiki. It'll be the Titans' fourth foul of the period. Twelve minutes left. That strip by San Antonio will force the steal, and we'll have a timeout on the floor. 61-44, the Titans. 11:56 to go here in Titan Gym. You're watching Big West basketball on ESPN Plus. LeVar Ball in the house here at Titan Gym. He's watching a couple of guys that played for him in the Drew League this summer, EJ Anasicki and Ladu Leku of the Titans. Leku is on the floor as Milstead gets trapped and is forced into a turnover. McCarthy down 
And it's San Antonio from behind and a late whistle. But it's not on San Antonio, it's on Milstead. It was on the shot, Titans are at five fouls. Second free throw is no good. Titans are forced into the 10 second. Vincent Lee got the ball. It wasn't a clean pass. The first one to Maddox. And the Titans never got going out of the backcourt. The first time uh, that kind of turnover, a 10 second violation has been forced by the Redlands press, but they forced other turnovers. A couple of bad passes out of traps. Tomorrow, Big West teams in action include CSU Bakersfield in the morning time against Colorado. UC San Diego hosting Caltech, Long Beach State against La Sierra. The late afternoon evening, and CSUN hosting Portland State in the D1 matchup, seven o'clock. Titans a set play against the press. And Trey Maddox has it in the front court with 11 minutes and 15 seconds to go here in Titan Gym. Leku setting the screen. Now Trey picking up his dribble to Lee. Baseline to Leku. And that'll be a travel. Power off the screen. Swing it to Duckett, open to shoot. And it kind of soft rattles in. Darnay Duckett, his first three-pointer tonight. Nine points, he's got a chance uh, with a strong finish to get to his season average. Although again, these stats won't, don't count on the, Redlands, on the Redlands record or the stats as San Antonio blows a layup. Titans will run back and get on defense, their number's back, but McCarthy shoots out of the corner, makes a three, back-to-back -back three balls, and it's a 10-point game again. Long hit ahead to Leku. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Titans settle it outside, but then Dante Maddox stripped going down the middle, and it's gonna stay with the Titans. And Asiki in for Leku. Good again, back to Dante Maddox there. No one was guarding the inbounder. That might have been an easy uh, turn to the basket and, and maybe they've not a, a layup, but a soft jumper or floater. Titans continue to live at the foul line. 15 out of 22 tonight, 68%. A little bit lower than the season percentage. And Isaki converts on the one on the front end. Redland 16 turnovers, the Titans 12. Points off turnovers 17-10 in favor of the Titans. Second free throw good. Up to a 63-51 lead for Fullerton. Power advances quickly, and will draw contact on Anasike. Six foul, but it's shooting, so it's at the line now for Power and Red. Just enough of a sidestep mid-move by Robert Power. Free throw isn't good. Power's one of four that scores in double figures for Redlands when they play their own competition. 79 points a game they score. 
and a 5-3 and three record after eight games. This is their first D1 game of the season. An exhibition doesn't count against their record. Power almost gets that steal. Maddox to the basket, lays it up and in. And then Trey Maddox steals the inbounds. Trey Maddox, the one-man press there, just got back in play and stole the inbound. 14-point lead for the Titans. Maddox, Dante Maddox, San Antonio, the swing to Anasike. Stopped by Mays, into Anasike. Off the glass on the baseline, no good. McCarthy on the board for Redlands. Duck it. And that'll be a travel. Travel on power. Nine minutes left. So we're midway through the second half. Halftime score had the Titans. Had the Titans in front by seven. So they're winning this half by seven as well. 18 points for Lee. Had four buckets the first four minutes of the second half. Nothing since. E.J. Anasike, 14 points. Dante on the drive. Anasike into Lee. And it's off a deflection, then off Lee's hands. Uh, turn it over to Redlands. Milstead in for San Antonio. The previous meeting between these teams was uh, 10 years ago, November 2011. That team was the 2012 Titans. That team was second in the Big West behind Long Beach State. Gave Long Beach their only Big West loss that year. Very talented, great shooting team. The last for Bob Burton. And uh, for the Titans, when they had an early season game against Redlands, the margin was 50 points. That's not going to be the case here tonight. Anasike inside, off glass and one. Contact on the shoulder, got the foul on McCarthy. EJ enjoying a great night from the foul line. Redlands comes back with an answer. Eight minutes from the end. They're gonna have to correct the stats because they gave the last basket to to Dante Maddox, they're correcting that as we speak. So Anasike with the three-point play will now be up to 17 points, but McCarthy has come back and he's made back-to-back -back outside threes. And they haven't quite cut it down inside of double digits yet, but they're still hanging around, 11 points down. Next whistle gives us a timeout. Maddox, Milstead out of the corner, and the Titans. That's their first of the night. Milstead, an immediate steal, and a bucket. Five in a row for Damari Milstead in a matter of seconds. And the Titans jump back out in front by 16. Milstead making the Titans' first three-pointer tonight in nine tries. A soft touch out of the corner. McCarthy, McCarthy tries to spin that one in for Mays. Mays throws it back out, and Lee is right there for the Titans. Two on two the other way with trailers. Now it's the second trailer, Lee. Over in the corner to Dante Maddox. Yes, Dante Maddox for the Titans. Two in a row from downtown for the Titans, working from the corner. Those are the easier shots. The wings, again, only two of 10 from downtown, but still over 50% from the field. Colin McCarthy makes his third triple. 
in the matter of a couple minutes. Down to 16. Colin McCarthy with 12 points in a reserve role tonight. Only played two minutes in the first half, did not score, so he has 12 here in the second. Vincent Lee inside, gonna draw contact and score it. Redland's looking for a travel from down the other side of the floor. Well, I don't know, the feet looked okay up here, but I wasn't watching all that closely, maybe as close as a coach might. But certainly the referees would have had a look too down on their side. Vincent Lee has hit 20 points tonight. 20 points for Vincent Lee. Yeah, we got Eric Bridgeland. And he thought maybe there were there were travels, I think heard him down from the other side a previous time down before the timeout. Nothing on the coach just yet. Lee can't increase the 18 point advantage and Anasiki is called for a loose ball foul. Vincent Lee with EJ Anasiki coming and taking some more of the uh, paint touches this year. Lee's first game was 18 points against Santa Clara. Had a game of 12 at San Jose State and a game of 11 at Northern Arizona. And now he has his season high against Redlands. There, there's the look from Dietrich Taylor. Saying how much, how much content did Anasiki really make on those guys that they flew out of bounds, maybe on their own a little bit. And maybe somebody could tell Diedrich the ball doesn't lie because the Titans rebound off the front end miss. <laughs> Ibrahim McKay Dumbia coming in for the Titans in between the foul shots. Redlands is in the double penalty. Titans shooting two the rest of the way. Dante, if he makes both, can push the Titan lead up to 20. First free throw is pure. Dante Maddox, 12 points. Famuke Dumbia coming in replacing Anasiki. 14 points for Anasiki. See if he comes back in with only 5.48 remaining and a 20 point lead now for the Titans as Maddox has hit both. Maddox, 14 points, making four out of five from the line, a three ball and four out of nine from the field. Colin McCarthy is hot, hot, hot right now. And he makes his fifth three pointer of the second half. Also helps force the steal. Along with Neil Owens on the trap. And somebody get, somebody run McCarthy off the three point line next time he catches it. Not only 5-3 makes, it's five out of five and a half. Oh, he's open again. Six for six. Oh, ho. he's got the tight end lead down to 14 again. Colin McCarthy, a six for six stretch here in the second half. Milstead and the Titans break the press to Fumuke Dumbia. There's an answer back with five minutes to go. Power, and this time Trey Maddox reads the pass to the outside. Trey almost travels. He'll have to settle for a layup instead of a dunk. 18 point Titan lead. Respot by McCarthy. Oh, his first miss of the half, now six for seven. 18 point Titan lead. I guess that cools off McCarthy maybe just a little bit. He's their leading scorer with 18 points all in this half on the six threes. Dante Maddox, no good from the wing. Titans attack Darnay Duckett at midcourt. He bounces one into the corner. It's Owens for three, way over the top. So Mike Dumbia for the Titans on the rebound. Redlands traps Milstead, but uh, the Titans still with it. Four minutes to the end. We'll get a timeout, the next dead ball. Inside a 10 to shoot for the Titans. There's Milstead off the screen. And it's a race by Anderson, put back by Lee once, twice. No, still fought for. 
Milstead rolls one outside. Back to the wing for Maddox. Still some time to shoot. 12. Down to eight. Trey Maddox losing it. Splitting a double team to Milstead open for three. Rebounded by Power. Now to Duckett. Running chance for Redlands. Titans are able to even up the numbers coming back. But Owens hits a three. Neil Owens, uh, his Titans, EJ Anasike and Ladu Leku, who played for LeVar, LeVar's Drew League team this past summer. Bad pass by Trey Maddox, but it finds a Titan. Anasike fumbles the ball out of bounds, giving it back to Redlands. So not the prettiest game coming, coming down the stretch as Redlands continues to press. And the Titans, they've rotated, but they have guys that are probably getting a little bit tired. Anderson on that easy one inside. But you know what? If you look back to last year, a huge difference. Remember all the games the Titans missed in December? And they missed some through January and February, too. Just glad to be playing. You know, there's still a lot of teams that are getting canceled, getting postponed. Robert Powers fouled on a three-point shot. Dietrich Taylor would, would say every week on the podcast last year how tough it was to start and stop and worry about guys coming back and what kind of condition they might be in. Because when you're at this level of competition and in this level of condition, it's very easy. A couple of days off, certainly a week off, would set you back where you're behind against a team that's just going through and they're keeping their stamina all year, all season long. UCLA, they just had to cancel their men's basketball game against North Carolina this coming weekend. NHL, NFL having postponements, and the NBA as well. This is going to cut it to 10 if Power makes the free throw. 2.31 remaining. Redlands having a couple guys peek at the scoreboard to see exactly where they are. Of course, they've been pressuring like this all night. Power. Got his head around just in time to see the pass, but not in time to catch it. Titans still have 10 seconds to get it across. Milstead replaces Dante Maddox. Into San Antonio. Any foul puts the Titans on the line for two. Redlands is in the one and one portion of the bonus. The 10 point lead and anytime the Titans break the press, they have a chance to run down the clock and that should do most of the work for them just by running down the clock, whether they get, really whether they get a shot or not. And Lee inside, 22 points for Vincent Lee. Ball going the other way, but it's gonna be off a Titan foul. Make that off a of Redlands foul. So it's going to be free throws for the Titans. Vincent Lee last year had a season high of 25. This is Trey Maddox at the line. His first season with the Titans, a high of 18 against UC Davis. So this close to a career high. I, I kind of prefer that the career highs are against Division I competition. I think that just gives it a better uh, perspective on it. Trey Maddox and the Titans almost up to 90 tonight, 88-74. Duckett still looking to crack double digits for Redlands. Didn't shoot it there. Other guys have gotten off here tonight for Redlands. The Bulldogs. And we'll get a touch foul outside on Trey Maddox. Talked a bunch about McCarthy's 
six threes in this half. Robert Power with 16 points. I'll give you the splits on him in a second because he has uh, two threes, a two, and four free throws. Power had 10 points at the half, so another six in this half. Make it seven on that free throw. 17 points for Robert Power. And Kyer Jackson is the third Bulldog in double figures with 11. Michael Martinez here in Titan Gym, closing down this one, which will be the game that takes the Titans into the holiday and Big West play coming out of it. Coach Deidre Taylor said the Titans will get about four days off. They'll still have to practice through the 22nd, and then until the 26th, the Titans will then come back, but they'll have a good four days off. Twelve point Titan lead. Powers up to 18 points for Redlands. And a CK inside and from behind Anderson with a emphatic rejection. On the Titan side, five in double figures in the game. Vincent Lee 22. Damari Milstead 15. EJ Anasike with 14. Dante Maddox with 13. There's an act of Anderson again for Redlands. Dante Maddox with 13, Trey Maddox with 12. Inside Vincent Lee. That's how the half started for the Titans. Lee getting inside for a couple of dunks. He has 24 points, one off his Titan high. Tori San Antonio now has his fourth foul. <laughs> Duckett finally gets double digits with 10. Quiet night for Darnay Duckett, but you, you have a, a team like Redlands that you come in and there's not a lot of time to prepare. You're gonna say, okay, who's the leading scorer? Okay, it's number 11. When he has the ball, we'll get eyes on him. And then kind of worry about everyone else as things go. So 11 points for Duckett, matches his number. Milstead breaking the press, got it across with two seconds. A minute to go in the basketball game, 90 to 78. Seven to shoot for the Titans. Lee inside, lefty shot, and he got fouled. So he'll go to the line looking for a Titan high. Twenty-five points on January the seventeenth of this calendar year, last season. Eighty-five seventy-seven win against CSUN and Vincent Lee at twenty-five points that game, with ten field goals and five out of five from the foul line. When you talk about career highs, when it's your career high, you're not going to care who it's against, really, right? He'll only have to be able to. He'll only be able to tie here, though. The career high is a career high. Hey, my career high was 25 against this team, 26 against that team. He was so close to making the basket on the floor, and so he's tied that tied high with 25 points. See if the Titans can get him one more touch with the shot clock still on, but that probably will do it for Titan points tonight. Robert Power swinging to the right with a hook shot on the run, and Lee pulls down the rebound. Let's give you rebounding numbers too, as we're going to get a foul, and it's going to be by Power against Milstead. 52% Titan shooting tonight from the line, 23 out of 32. 
Redland shooting 74% from the line, 17 out of 23. From downtown, 11 out of 27 Redlands tonight. The Titans two for 12. Titans ended up forcing 22 Redlands turnovers. Redlands able to get the Titans to turn it over 16 times. Duck it along three. Need some help off the glass, didn't get it. And with 12 seconds left, Trey Maddox will dribble it out. 15 point Titan lead. And a 15 point Titan win. The Titans will take a six and five record into Big West play.